The Pentagon has figured out a way to finally solve the alien UFO question once and for all. They're going to do it. And today, in order to help solve the problem, they announced a new website. And we looked up the website. It's up and running, although we couldn't see if it's working because, quote, this form is to be used for official business with the Department of Defense, knowing and willfully false reporting can be punished by fine or imprisonment. And since we don't know anything about UFOs and we don't want to go to jail, we didn't submit anything to see if the website works. But at least on first blush, it appears to be working better than the Obamacare website. It comes in response to News Nation reporting from a UFO whistleblower who said there are secret government programs to retrieve alien crashed vehicles and that the government has aliens. Uh, Cuomo's been doing a lot of reporting on this. Really? Like, it's sort of like almost insulting for them to just say, hey, here's a website, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, it yeah. is uh, kind of, it is uh, such a typical kind of doing the minimum. For me, this isn't about, look, it's, it's good that people have a form they can fill out, whatever. It's about transparency. What do you know? If there's nothing to know, then tell at least the elected representatives of the American people why that's the case. Uh, but this, to me, is a story not about little green men. It's about transparency and the government making decisions uh, that they don't have to let the people who put them in power know what they're doing with their power. Look, there's a lot of members of Congress who do not get access to the most secretive government programs, right? There, there's the what they call the yes. Gang of Eight, which is the, the House, minor, uh, House Speaker, Minority Leader, uh, same on the Senate side, and the chairs of the Intel right. Committees. There, there's, there's all these different ways. And what I'm wondering is, is we've never heard from one of those people saying right. things are being covered up. And what I'm wondering is, what gives the right of all of these other elected representatives, who you and I both know leak, leak like sieves, because we get leaks from them all the time, to know things that, that may be uh, in in the interest of the United States for our enemies not to know. I, I'm with you on it. And, you know, what bothers me even more is when I was watching those hearings and you see who the players are and, who, more importantly, who they're not, what bothers me is that the people in power don't believe there's any advantage in this issue. It's not that you know, they only care about what they can use against the other side and to shore up their own side. And, and unless one party can prove that the other party's full of aliens, they don't want anything to do with this issue because they see no advantage. So they just ignore uh, it. I, they just I, ignore I it. I guess I don't, I, I don't see that they ignore it. I see that perhaps that, you know, if, if the speaker at the time or others had been told, hey, look, uh, there, there, there may be a top secret program that involves either uh, these are U.S. government crafts or they're, they're Chinese or Russian or whatever they are, uh, therefore, they know, and they also know about weapons programs that the rest of the House doesn't know about. I go on. What I can't figure out, though, is, like, the, the way the DOD is handling this, right? They have this w website where if you are a member of the U.S. government or have a security clearance or part of the defense, you know, con contracting groups, you can submit very sensitive information online, of all things. Right. Don't they realize the Internet is not secure? Like, I, I, it just boggles my mind. Hey, maybe the only way we find out is if somebody hacks it. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, may, may, maybe it's a good thing uh, that it's there because they're not going to tell us. That's for sure. <laughs> uh, OK, when somebody hacks the UFO website, um, they're coming to you for the idea. I had absolutely nothing to do with this segment, even though I was here for it. We'll see you in about 10 minutes, Chris. All right, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.